It's a 2018 Silverado. The center console and the ceiling is flopping around. I'm going to show you how to fix this real quick. Uh, you don't need any special automotive uh, tools, just a Phillips, a flathead, and a small flathead will work for this. Um, you do have to put that sunglasses carrier down so you can get to the edge of that panel there. I just slide in my flathead screwdriver and twist it sideways uh, to pop those two in the front loose. And then the other two in the back will just, you know, it'll just fall out like that. Um, trying to get a close up on these harnesses here. These automotive harnesses can be kind of difficult sometimes. Uh, flathead in that one, turn it sideways, get it started, pull it out. This other one, I got a small flathead screwdriver because there's a little tab in there. You got to push that one in and got it started uh, and then I finish it off just, you know, pulling it out. Um, and then you can get to these, well, they're actually hard to get to, but there's two clips up in the front. Uh, you got to get your flathead screwdriver and try to get a better view of this. Uh, up inside there, you push on it and turn your screwdriver to pop it loose. Same with the other side. Uh, push your flathead screwdriver in there, uh, turn it sideways, and it should pop that loose. Uh, after that, you just have this one big harness to deal with. Uh, they can be kind of confusing. Um, if you have one like this, there's two little tabs there uh, in the middle that you need to squeeze to get this thing started. And then as you pull that back, it actually pushes the two uh, halves apart. Uh, and then you can get in here. I was able to dump my screws out onto the floor. They were uh, completely fell out so those go in them little holes there I'll show you here in a second here's a close-up of those clips towards the front uh, if you get your flathead screwdriver in there and push on that and turn it uh, you're good to go and then these are the two holes that you need for your screws so going backwards now that I found my screws uh, I'll get this big harness started here um, get it started and then push it forward and it'll force those two halves back together um, and then you can uh, line up those uh, clips with those slots there up in the up in the roof and once you get it started you'll be able to feel it um, just get them started and then you'll be able to hear it and feel it when they when they click tight and then you can work on these two screws uh, this one screw on the one side has to go up through there. I tried my best to try to get a close-up of this, uh, but I am going to have to start the screw first and then show you me here uh, tightening it up. Uh, there's no way to film that. Um, so after, that one's probably the hardest one to get to. Uh, the other one's not quite as bad. Um, and then get those in there. You could use a dab of um, thread, thread tight. Uh, liquid if you want don't want this to happen again, but it's really not that big a deal I just tighten them up real good and then these two harnesses here. Uh, they can only go back on one way So just make sure you got them uh, Snapped in there to where they're not going to come loose and then I hook the back two Clips on and then just push the front in and click click you're done. So if that's a problem for you A good chance is that uh, screws fell out probably so hope that helps